All right, y'all, if y'all wanna see how I got these gorgeous nails, then you are gonna have to go ahead and stay tuned. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Winnie, and I'm back <laughs> with another video. So today, I'm going to be using Bano Beauty's Orange as well as their Watermelon. I'm also going to be using their No Wipe Top Coat as well as a Beatles No Wipe Top Coat. Um, I'm trying to remember, chat. Oh, I'm using Acetone to clean up around my hair cuticles and oh yeah so i'm using some fairy dust that i got off of uh sheen and uh just various brushes this is my ombre brush what's up y'all it's your girl when i'm back <laughs> with another video if you're new to my channel please go ahead and consider subscribing to your girl's channel new videos posted every tuesday and thursday sometimes on wednesdays depending on what's going on hey one since day one or however long you've been here i shall appreciate you know what i'm saying know what i'm talking about already man it's all up so today i'm going to be using benno beauty sweetens products uh basically it's a uv gel in a pot versus in a uh little you know you know how they come stop playing y'all know so what i was doing was i was blending up like blending the color up because i did do an experiment on my index finger and i wanted to see if uh it would have a harsh line like if i didn't blend it up and yes <laughs> it's a harsh line so i ended up using four coats of each color and um i'm doing orange well i really want to do orange initially but i said to myself i said so myself said huh i said baby you cannot continue to do orange like the people get it those who get it get it and those who don't don't we know you like orange we know you like nude we know you like red we know you like blue can you venture out into some other colors like <laughs> and i'm finna start saying that back pink but it was one video i had that i had did a complete pink set baby tell me why your girl deleted it Mm, you talk about somebody feeling some kind of way. I don't just sit here at my nail desk slash where I fold t-shirts at. I don't just sit here for an hour, hour and a half doing this these here. I don't I don't just sit here for this time, okay? Uh it takes me longer to do my nails. Like, don't even get it twisted. Depending on what I'm doing, baby. It could take at least four to five hours. And y'all be like, four to five hours? You dedicate that time to doing your nails and do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and do. And do and will, okay? But my first client, y'all gonna see her nails if y'all ain't already seen them because I don't know when it's coming out, okay? I'd probably be the move back over to straight nails, you know what I'm saying, or a different type curve set. Look. You just got to stay tuned. It's called Journey with Wendy for a reason. But my first client, baby, it took me an hour and 22 minutes from start to finish to do her nails. And that's including prep and everything. You know what I'm saying? So that's about how long it takes me to do uh, press on nails as well. So when I'm not doing it on myself, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, she's pretty quick. She's pretty quick and she's very efficient. My client's nails have not popped off as of yet. Uh, I don't know how long she didn't had them on. I want to say she didn't had them on. I think I did my nails. I don't know, child. Saturday. Today's Monday. So she didn't had them on for a couple days. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't talking about her. We talking about me right now. We talking about me. So, um, yeah, child. I decided that I want to do like a sunset type nail with this uh, ring finger and my index finger. And I wanted to do that because I had to incorporate orange and these colors were so bright and so pigmented and vibrant. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I just had to, I had to. So what I, what I actually did with my, um, with the set I had previously. So I basically just took the color down and then I built the nail back up with, uh, using I Joe, I Joe, she tried it using, Oh, I forget your name every time. Mm -hmm. I used a clear. I talked about them in the last video too. Child, I don't remember their name, honey. Anyway, if it come to me, I'll tell y'all. But if it don't, it don't. Just know it's the competition. IBD. I, I, I use IBD Builder Gels. 
clear to build the nail up because I ain't want to be using all of my um stuff from Lisette gel nails because baby I pay for my stuff you know <laughs> I pay for my stuff all the way like I don't do payments and nothing like that so we 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 hey hey just like this gas here we getting every last drop of these bad boys out of here and so I use the clear because I have way more clear I have like a bottle and some change of the clear from whenever I was making my own hard gel colors and yes, I don't use those anymore, but um, if you would like to see me make hard gel, it's a video on my channel somewhere talking about some let's make hard gel, okay? Okay, so um, you see how it just goes on so smoothly? And there was like some type of streaks, but I think it might have been the brush uh, more so than anything. So I do want to try a different brush, but I also like this brush because this brush gives me pretty good coverage of it. And so, like I said, I did do four coats of it, uh, four coats of either color at one time. And then um, I put the, what your name is? Fairy dust. Because I used to get fairy dust often whenever I would go get my nails done by Miss Lucy, the shop owner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would go to her and she would do my nails or whatnot. And I would always ask for fairy dust or foil. And I don't really use those anymore for the simple fact of I got them. So it ain't really like I don't have to stunt like I <laughs> like I was before stunt with my nails. I don't have to do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because um, we're a one woman operation. OK, so whenever I was putting the fairy dust on, I was trying to use my little silicone tool, but that wasn't working. Like it was given it was very much given like I was rubbing off dirt. <laughs> I was like, ain't nobody rubbing dirt off their nail. I said, girl, you got to find a, a better way to do this. And so um, I pulled out that big black brush that y'all going to see. And it actually went on so much better. Um, and in the places where it was kind of streaky, uh, I want to say it's still kind of streaky. But uh, for the most part, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? Uh I can make it do what it do. I really do want to change my nail color. However, uh, I really just put these on. And there was a time where I was changing my nail color, either my nail color or my nails every day for like two weeks. I was uh, taking these baths, sucking them off, putting them back on, sucking them off, putting them back on. Or shaving it down, put them on, shaving them down. Put Child, I'm not doing that no more. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying, if I, I try to put a, a new set on at the beginning of the month. And then I try to wear that set for the whole month and just taking, uh, just changing the color. And if the shape gets too bad, the shape doesn't get too bad with these curved ones. But when it comes to the, um, them straight ones, them ones that look, look like little chopsticks on your nails. Yeah, on your hands. Yeah, them, them right there. That's where the issue comes in at. Even if I, it just, the shape just don't stay right. I've only had the shape stay right like maybe twice. And so, because I like uh, tapered square. Coughing used to be my thing, but I was only getting coughing, like I said before, because people wouldn't do the square right. So now I can do the square in the shape that I want to because I like my nails kind of thin, a little on the thinner side, um, excuse me, a little on the narrower side, and I don't like them to be too thick. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be able to put my finger into that, uh, the cutter, the tip cutter, and to be able to like cut the whole tip off. Like that's what I like to do. But I also like them to be sturdy. So I, I know it's a lot. But just just stay with you, girl. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing like my prep and stuff on camera because I will be recording literally forever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doing an ombre on my index and ring finger. And I'm doing that flick motion that I like to do. So I'm taking the color down then bringing the color back up and just making it be look more ombre than what it did. And I realized that essentially by putting a fairy dust on that all my hard work and dedication that I went that went into these here nails, baby, 
it just went straight down the drain. You know what I'm saying? So I only did one hand. Well, I mean, I did both hands, but only did one hand off camera. And I did, I was before doing like one hand, one way, like one color or in the other hand, the other, a different way with a different, like different tips. I just really, I, for me, for me, I really don't like that. I ain't like how my, I didn't like my hands looking mismatched. I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just wasn't, it didn't give what it was supposed to give, baby. I was just like, sis, no, uh-uh. So I quit doing that. Um, Because at first I was like, oh, we're going to do this for the sake of content. Then I started looking it down at my hands. I said, man, we not, I ain't going to be able to do this. No, I don't care nothing about the sake of content. You have to find out something else. You have to find out and figure out something else. So what I like to do is I like to get as close as possible to the cuticle. I try not to touch the cuticle, but y'all know we, we have issues with pain. So yeah, I had got a call, you know what I'm saying, from my, my little big brother. So basically I have issues with paint, painting my nails and um, trying to hold them little mini bottles of Beatles gel polish. It doesn't really do what I needed to do because I be getting polish everywhere, child. Oh my goodness. And then I messed around and after I did my client's nails, I messed around and daggone got some of that blue polish up under my nail on three nails i got polish up under it so now instead of you seeing the reflective glitter you see blue i'm looking like bro and so tomorrow tuesday what is it march 15th at two yeah tuesday march 15th at two i'm going to go help my nephew hydro dip his uh pedals off his bike you know what i'm saying my nephew tried to do it you know he need that tt touch he need tt to come touch it that's what he needs so i'm gonna go help him tomorrow help him do that after my little dentist appointment baby we've got appointments all week honey you know what i'm saying my daughter had a dentist appointment today monday march 14th i got one tomorrow march 15th i got cairo i think oh i think i got it on when wait Thursday and Friday. And then my lash lady, because I took my lashes off and I said to myself, I said, so myself said, huh? I said, we're going to give our lashes a break, baby. And then I started looking at my eyes in the daggone mirror. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, oh, no, we are not going to be able to walk around looking like this. I look like a little bald chicken. I look like a little baby chick with about my eyelashes. I said, no, we're not going to be able to do this. <laughs> like, I'm so used to seeing myself with lashes and them being so va 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 voom, honey. Uh -uh. I ain't able to do it, baby. No, ma'am. No, sir. So basically what I ended up doing after I took, uh, after I like built up the nail using the polish, using thin coats, because you don't want to use thick coats because you don't want your stuff to chip. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to hit something and then the nail chips and then you got to... Cause for me, if I either if I break a nail or a nail start chipping, I change the whole set, honey. So ain't no like going in and like repairing a chip. I don't do none of that. I don't repair cracks. I don't do none of that. I start all over. And I know people are like, well, why would you do that? Like if I break a nail, like say I'm wearing an XXL nail. If I break one, which often happens on my index finger, I'll check. I'll I will take the whole set off and start over with a whole new shape i'm just saying because i'm like look i'm never gonna file it back to where to where it was before to make it uniform like the other ones because i ain't in that same mindset no child i don't play so basically i put the fairy dust on i put a very vigorous amount and i, I brushed it in really really well then i put on the beetles no wipe top coat and so i did that before i used the bano beauty one because I actually bought this stuff from Stockholm, Sweden. So, and it came, it arrived through DHL. So I'm not finna be messing up. And I paid $107 for it. That's what shipping. I'm not finna sit up here and mess up a brand new bottle of top coat because I was just in a rush to put it on. I would rather mess up like the Beatles one because they're more abundant here in America and uh, not mess up 
what I paid $18 for because I paid $18 for that top coat, you know. So I don't know how I feel about the top coat. I don't know how I feel about Bano Beauty just yet. Uh, I think the next color I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this out here so that the, that way the atmosphere can know. So either I'm going to do Kiwi, which is the lime green, or Banana which is, of course, what it sounds like, yellow. Or I might do peach, but peach is still nudie-ish, okay? So I'm leaning more towards kiwi because, I mean, baby, it's March 14th. Spring has sprung, okay? Spring is here. Next week here in California, we don't really, we ain't really gonna know it's spring because the temperature's supposed to drop. And, uh, a drop in temperature here, child, it'd be something else. Let me see what the temperature, because they said on Sunday, a little cold front supposed to come in, and we might supposed to get some rain, because um, they said they never rain in Southern California. They lied, child. So, yeah, honey, uh, Sunday is supposed to be 64. So, so Saturday, 73. Sunday, the 20th is supposed to be 64, and the 21st is supposed to be 74. Then after that, you can go ahead and cancel Christmas. It's going to be hot than a mug like it was today. I said, oh my goodness. I said, it is hot out here. I made sure not to wear black because I wasn't really trying to pass out or anything like that. That's not what she was trying to do, okay? Okay. So you see, look, look. Watch as I'm putting this on. Watch how I look like I'm uh, filing dirt. Look, somebody come look at this. So I'm going to zoom in for y'all. Hold up. Child, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but baby, you see that peeling off. You see it's peeling off. Stop playing. Man, I, I was just like, I'm not going to be able to walk around with my nails looking like this. I'm just not going to be able to do it. You see how she scraped that off of that candle top? Uh-huh. So I tried to go back in there with the brush, but at this point, the uh, tacky layer has been removed. So now I'm not watch. You see, look, you see how that go on like butter? Chai, so much better. This is actually an eyeshadow brush, I think, that I got from BH Cosmetics. I'm not sure if they still in business, but way back in the day, is it BH Cosmetics or Coastal Scents? One of the two, because they were interchangeable to me, you know what I'm saying? But I brought, brought, I bought a whole packet of, um brushes way back in like 2009 no it was like 2010 when i started messing around playing with makeup i would put some uh pictures up of when i was playing around in makeup but this ain't really what that's about i guess i will do it hold on y'all just wait all right baby so that first picture okay she was it was giving what it was supposed to have given child and then the second one you know it was just some light work you know i was doing my own makeup uh oh what was her name it was some girl named Angie that was here on YouTube during that time, like 2012 slash 13. And she used to work at, I want to say she worked at Mac. And then um, Muffin is my lover. I used to watch her. And then Ivy. Ivy's still here on YouTube, but uh, I don't really watch her anymore. Uh, I don't really don't watch no makeup stuff no more because, baby, I'm not going to be doing no makeup because I'm not going to be picking stuff out of my lashes. No, we're not trying to lose any premature. We're not trying to lose any lashes prematurely is what she's trying to say while she's getting all worked up. Okay, so basically where you do see there is some polish on my actual um, skin. I do go in with a dull file. And I go in and I get all that off off camera. Uh, yeah, so, and I was pressing really hard with this one. So that did cause it to be uh, more streaky than what I would like. But I hope that you guys like the throwback photos. Um, <laughs> I mean, like I said, that first picture, that was, I did that myself, honey. She was, okay. <laughs> it was for the world, material world. You know what? I'm through playing with y'all. I'm out. Go ahead and listen to this music. Ain't no outro. <laughs> Got me over here talking about some material girl.